Try to keep this to a really quick video on solving polynomial equations using the solve functionality of your CAS. And uh, this is actually a video is in response to somebody's question: Why wouldn't you just use your? Why wouldn't you just graph it and take a look that way? So let's start there. So here's our calculator. I'm going to go to the graphing section. I'm going to graph this first. And here are the two equations that I have. The first one is 2x to the fifth. So if you have your calculator, 2x, right, carrot, to the fifth, right, over plus 24x, I think, yeah, plus 24x. So that's not a great picture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just not a good picture at all. So I'm going to go ahead and graph the second one just to show you. And the way you get to your second one is just hit the tab button. And the next one is just 14x cubed. So 14x cubed. So there are these two functions. First off, you can't see what's really going on here. So I guess my question is, is this thing going to, is this thing, this thing is heading down here, this thing is heading down. Are they going to cross somewhere down here? Um, this is a fifth root. So what are the possibilities? Remember that the possibility is that they could cross as many as five times, right? So let's take a look. What if we did this a different way? So here I'm just going to go to my main menu. I'm going to choose calculator. And I'm going to use my solve function. So SOLV, solve. And I'm going to put in the same equation, which were 2x to the fifth. So 2 x to the fifth plus 24x. I'm going to check and make sure it's right. It is. It's equal to 14x cubed. 14x cubed. And now here, comma x. So this is really important when we're using the solve function. So here are the important parts about the solve function. Type the word solve, open a set of parentheses, put the equation in with an equal sign where it belongs. Make sure that you put comma x, which means in terms of, and if your variable is x, you want it in terms of x, and then hit enter. So here are our five solutions. Well, I asked you earlier when we were looking at that graph, does it look like it might cross somewhere? It does. Look, it crosses at, at negative 2. It also crosses at negative square root 3. It crosses, it touches at 0. It touches at square root 3, it touches at x equals 2. So that would be really, really hard to see using the graphing function of your calculator. It can be dumb, but you'd have to adjust the crap out of that when you spend a lot of time doing that. So while this doesn't give you a visual representation, it gives you an easy answer, doesn't it? Okay, you guys, I promised you I'd keep this quick. So I hope this was really helpful. This calculator that you have in front of you is an absolute beast. It's a monster. It can do tons of stuff. You have to learn how to make it do what you want it to do. So I hope this video is helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and your comments are always welcome.